time when we start fitting all these pieces together and I'm going to have things all over the boat that I had to recut my aft seat because I made a mistake on the measurements. I didn't uh, measure twice cut once. I uh, probably should have measured three times a cut once. But I was able to salvage that piece and use it for the forward part of the dial seat. So now I've got my new seat cut out. And remember we're going to be using some of our leftover wood and not the full 12 inches. Uh, if you want to be, you know, have a perfect boat then you can go ahead and use 12, 12 inch wide pieces for the seat tops here. But when we get done you won't know it by using leftover scrap and I'd rather use up that wood than try to figure out what to do with it later on. So right now I've got the one thing we want to make certain of, remember, is to use templates. We're going to use templates for figuring out the curve of the hole here. And so I've got this cardboard cut out to 11 inches width, which is the width of my uh, plywood I'm going to use. And it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect for something to get along. And then we're going to come in and we're going to look at this curve here. And I've got another one that I already used on the bow seat, which is, is pretty close. So I'm going to use it to transfer over, and I'll get rid of that line, somewhat of the uh, line, and we're, what, off a little that way. Uh, so I'll give it a tentative cut like that. And then smooth it in on the next, on the next cut. And am I in zone here? No, I'm not. Let me, uh, reset up down to show you what I'm looking at. Okay, I've got it in place and I got a clamp just to hold it so it doesn't wiggle around on me. So what I'm going to do now, and where's one of my little blocks? I should be more prepared. I'm going to lay this little block down along the side and I'm going to, so that'll give me a little more gap because my line will be off here a little bit. And I'm just going to slide this along here. If you have one of your kids Let's see, what is it? Compass isn't, and the, yeah, Protractor doesn't. If you have a one of your comp children's compasses, you can do the same thing by laying the uh, metal point along the edge and then the pencil along here. So I've got pretty close with this line now, so I'll go ahead and pull my piece and cut along that line. So I've got it in there and I'm close enough for government work. Uh, when I transfer over the plywood I can fine tune it with uh, my uh, low angle plane. So now I'm going to check it on the other side to see if I have a good match. And I do and so I'll go ahead and uh, transfer this over to plywood and then fit it. And we'll do a series of shots on fitting it. Okay, I've got my template lined up along the leading edge and then the pencil line. I didn't cut it quite right. So now you want to, uh, this piece of wood has been measured for the overall length at the head, forward edge of this 2x2 two two here. Even though um, it's not going to be there, it's going to come up to here. So you've got a little bit of, of play in it. So now I'm going to line it up again and just is this the right side? Yeah. As good as any side. Sometimes you have flaws in the wood that uh, if you're going to uh, stain it, be sure that you have the right side up. So I've got that piece cut. Now I'll go around the other side and do the other one. Okay, I'm starting on this side first, I had the best fit overall. The other side's a little high, but now I'm going to take my pencil and just run it along the edge of the hole that will give me a parallel line and I'm going to go ahead and take this over and use my low angle plane and then trim it down to that line and it doesn't hurt to put a little bevel on the bottom because the hole is angled right in here and that will be a little bit Okay, along this side I got my tight fit now I'm going to go to the other side and then trim it into place we're going to do the same thing along here to drag your, drag your pencil. I've got a little more gap up here than what I like. Uh, I screwed up on the bandsaw and took a little bit too much off down here. 
uh, but we're going to be using uh, Gel Magic and uh, Easy Fillet so it'll fill all the gaps. Let me go and uh, trim this up and get it into place. Okay, we're getting there. Like I said before, take your time. Patience is virtue. And then fit it nice and good. Nice and good? Yeah, I'm a college graduate. One more time. Okay, I've got it fitted into place. And I'll go ahead and mark this as uh, apt. Starboard. And top. Put it along the side because that'll all get covered up. And you can take your pink pearl and race it off too. So I got that done. I'm going to go ahead and cut out, transfer over my uh, forward seat bow forward panel. I've already got it marked out. So I'll go ahead and cut that out and fit it next. And uh, I've got the pieces for in here finished. And I have a small, well, let me show you. another thing where I showed you that template where I ah, cut out now I've got my my main piece and a template or a temporary drawing of the hatch in there and then I've got my backing block nine by nine black backing block which now I will epoxy on to this and then uh, once I get that on and cured then I will remark the whole cut it out and then this whole thing edges especially the edges and uh, all the surfaces will get a coating of epoxy on it and then I'll be able to start putting pieces into the boat uh, for the final fit out of the interior parts. So uh, I'll come back with a little bit of this and that in the meantime. Okay, I've got the aft seat aft panel done. This is be the one that will have the hatch in it because I have to do a footrest on the other side. Um, and it'll be an 8 inch and be able to get something in there uh, because of the foot well that will go in here uh, space will be limited on either side so uh, but you'll be able to put some stuff out of the way the other thing you want to make remember is when you're trimming it down that uh, you got a little quarter of an inch of uh, edge of the top edge stick it up and so I got my little template along here and I'm within range. Once I get it all done, I'll take a rasp in my little hand plane and level everything down because it gets rasp over and these edges will get glassed. Uh, only the horizontal top lines that are on the seats will get glassed. Everything else will be filleted in. So I've got that part done. And we go on with some of the other parts. I said I was going to do a test on the uh, using stains and epoxy. Uh, when I did the rails, I forgot I was going to do that, even though I mentioned it. So uh, it took me a couple days to uh, remember, and so I've got this piece uh, stained, but I want to still has a little bit of aroma to it. So I want to make certain that it's make certain that it's completely cured to, for any test to be correct. Uh, you you want to make certain that the uh, stain you're using is correct. But this is an oil-based stain, so uh, usually water-based are better, but we'll know when I get done with the test. So once this is cured, I'm going to take a piece of uh, uh, leftover cloth and then wet out part of it and leave some of it proud so I can use that as a rip test. So we'll get back with that a little later in the episode. Mm -hmm.